camshaft deviations. Okay, so if you have a 986 or a 996 between the years of 1998 and 2002, you have in that car an M96 engine with five chains. So, unless, of course, it's a turbo, in which case you have the Mesger engine, but we won't go there. So, here's the layout of a five chain engine. Chain one is the crank to the IMS. Chain two and three, that would be the IMS to bank one or bank two, the exhaust cam. And chains four and five is the little chain and that runs from the exhaust cam and drives the uh, intake cam. So what tends to wear most quickly is the pads on the short chains. They get a lot of use. This is indicated by um, readings that you will take from your uh, durometric or other Porsche diagnostic tool and if you get a reading between 0 and 6 then you're within spec and that should be fine for a while. Once it gets up 6, 7, 8, 9 well then you know that those pads are seeing a lot of wear and they need to be changed. Another indicator is when you do an oil change and you look in the pleats of your uh, uh, oil filter well you'll see maybe little brown pieces of plastic and these are pieces of uh, that are being actually stripped off the pads uh, this is another indicator that it's probably time to change those pads so let's turn this over to my friend Grant here who is going to walk us through the procedure we're going to set this up to remove the uh, valve cover First thing we have to do is set it up to top dead center, but top dead center on the correct cycle. So at the moment we're at top dead center, this pin is holding it there, but we don't know if we're on the right cycle. So what we have to do is go around to the back and remove this little um, green plug with the screwdriver. And voila. And we can see in there a notch on the intake camshaft, which is supposed to be pointed towards the valve cover or away from the block. And as you can see, it is not. So we have to turn the engine 360 degrees to get that pointing in the right direction. Something to note is on bank one two three that notch points away from the engine block on the other side four five six it points towards the block okay so we turn the engine over clockwise the direction the engine turns we watch this teardrop hole here and also there's a little notch there that lines up with a mark there but ah yeah okay we can now there's a hole behind there we can put this in our pin in so now it's at top dead center on the correct cycle now we have to install the special <coughs> Porsche tool that I made in my workshop on the ends of the uh, camshaft so when we take the cover off the uh, camshafts are held in place now can we get a look at that okay the little tool I made it myself with some bolts and those bolts fit into the end of the crankshaft and then there's a bolt that holds it to the head, uh, yeah, to the head there. Because the only thing that holds the camshafts in place is the chain at this end and the uh, bearings that are built into the valve cover. Okay. Right over here I have the Pelican instructions on my computer, which I will verify. We put the tool on, remove the oil pump. Okay. 
right. Pops right off. With a bit of coaxing. If it's first you don't succeed, get a larger pry bar. Can I swear in French? <laughs> Oh, there it is. So, we can just, okay, we have to remove the <clears throat> connector for the very OCAM solenoid. Just, voila. Then, the cover. Just in passing, when you put it back together again, normally you should buy new uh, flanges because they have a built-in seal and they're O-rings that go on the oil pump that you should replace. Okay, rock and roll. You'll notice I put rags in the spark plug tube holes because it would be really dumb to drop a bolt in there. Are okay. the spark plugs still in there? No. Which is why it would be really dumb to drop one in there. Okay, I think we got them all out. They're 23, if I remember correctly. Like this one is almost useless. Once you get, once you get one corner off, they'll generally pop off. Because it's that seal. I mean, the seal is strong. Right? Yeah, well, when I tried to take the other side off after having glued it on, didn't want to move. Yeah. Huh? Oh, did we hear a pop? Whoops, that's, <laughs> I'm pounding on the block there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you see something? Well, I, I see that it's, it's, it's broken the seal, I think, by the sound okay. of it. You know, that's... Okay, this is about the only one that's easy to get. There ah! You there you go. Oh. And so now we will put on the patented new art clamps. Gee, those are really neat. Yeah, the, <laughs> but you, when you do, want to do a good job, you, you spend the money. You need to take the cams out. Uh, yeah, you have to have to take the caps off here. Then you have to take this off, pull off the uh, sprocket, take all this stuff off, and lift the cams out. Because mm -hmm. what we're oh, that's what we want to see. This what we're here to change is the these pads here, one there, and the other one's down underneath. And uh, those are what wear out and give you deviation problems. That's the yeah, okay. Uh, there's the old. That's the old one from the other bank. Yeah, that one is starting to get a bit eaten up. Yeah, and it doesn't just wear; it rips away little pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-two millimeter socket to remove the uh, adjuster, often called the tensioner. There, 
there's that. Okay, now what's that done? That has released the chain, the tension on the chain, so we can now remove the sprocket by removing these four bolts. Uh, okay. Is that the only one you have to take out? Uh, yeah, well, well, these are on the camshaft, so it all comes out as a unit. Don't want to drop <coughs> a bolt down there, so we'll put a little rag here. Because that goes all the way to the crankshaft. Yeah, just split the engine afterwards, no problem. Yeah, right. <sighs> like that. Okay. Now, as I discovered recently, if you got it all back together and you don't have enough adjustment on this sprocket, you can re reposition the sprocket without removing the valve cover. You just drop it down a bit like that. Take the chain off. Then you can turn it, actually, it's easier. Ah, voila. It can only go on one way, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, what I did, <coughs> I'm sort of afraid of the chain dropping down, so I got something. Which I stuck here to hold the chain from dropping. So you're using the, uh, what you're looking at is from... Um, Pelican. Pelican. They're online with photographs that you can click on the photos and yeah. see them uh, enlarged. Right. And there's usually lots of photos that on the Pelican site. Yeah. Okay, so we, now we got to take the camshafts off. Let's get this out. So we have to undo the two bearing caps here, plus three bolts that hold on the actuator. Then we'll take all this stuff off and the camshafts should just lift out. There are all the torque specs on that um the Pelican site as well? No, I don't, I don't remember on the Pelican. They're usually in the 101 things to do, projects to do on your Boxer, which is based on the Pelican site. But I made up my own sheet with all the uh, torque values and that I can't do. And you have to be careful not to mix up the bearing caps even though they're marked. The problem is they're marked in German. The numbers are different in German, right? No. <laughs> in German, exhaust, no, intake starts with an E. So the one for the intake is marked with an E right here. Uh -huh. And the exhaust is marked with an A. So you have to remember it's German, not uh -huh. English. Yeah, okay, so e, e is not for exhaust. That's it. Okay, so now just to recap here, we've got, uh, this is the intake cam. Yeah. Okay, and it has a notch on it, which is right now facing up because of course the motor is on its side. Yeah, away from the block. Away, away from, from the block, okay. Like I said earlier, on the when you're doing bank two, cylinders four, five, six, you want that notch to be towards the block. Um, okay. Good to know. Very good to know. I, think, I mean, you could I wish easily I'd known fuck that. off there. I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, well, I don't I mean, know. I, I, I think would have. have I would have. I mean, you know. Are the guys that stupid that would do that? Okay. But you always knew that. I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I re read the book. Did you pass the exam? 
No, I got a job first. Give up. Okay, now your camshaft end is, is being held on still with your, your yeah, holder. Yeah, I can there. take that off. And voila. Yay, so now we've got it out. So, what do we do with it now? Let's ask Grant. Just click here on the sequel.